Hello and welcome to a special presentation of Bush Gardens Hello Scream 2023 opening night. Well, I just got here. It's, I don't know, 4, 4.30, somewhere around in there. Hollow Scream doesn't start until seven o'clock. So we're gonna have a little fun before Hollow Scream starts. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to hit all the houses and give you a good review. So stick around and find out. Here in front of Iron Gwazi, we have Frankenstein's lab, and it looks like a photo, a photo opportunity, and a scary -oki. Yeah. So there, there is some uh, interesting things. Now, from what I heard, there are a total of five houses, six scare zones, and four shows. Uh, I guess they are considering that Scarioke a show. Then there's the, uh, uh, the, oh, something bones. Uh, yeah. Um, there's the bones, and uh, there's a show, I think, in the Gwazi Field. Uh, so there's, and also in the um, Stanleyville Theater, they have the uh, Cirque ex 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 Scream. <laughs> That's it. It's a hard one to pronounce. But yeah, there is a whole bunch of goodies out there. So, uh, just got in a ride on Iron Gwazi and it was cooking. It was, it was hot, hot, hot fast. Yeah. So, let's see uh, what else we can do before Hello Scream. So for Hollow Scream, Stranglewood Estates, it looks like they are planning on the queue line starting all the way over there. All the way over here. Just to get into a house. But then again, this is one of the better houses. So I definitely suggest you guys come and check out this house if you do show up. Stranglewood Estate. It still looks like it's for sale. And I guess there's no offers on it yet. But that is uh, one long queue line. Well, folks, it's um, about an hour to go before Hallow Screen. And, uh, well, got the wristbands already. We're heading over to Stanleyville because... Um, well, there's a couple of houses back there that we want to check out. Uh, we're going to be passing uh, Witch of the Woods. Uh, the exit, again, is right here. And the entrance is way over there. And, uh, well, oh. I think we have something else going on over here at the Coke Canopy. <laughs> Welcome to the rave yard. Rave all night, sleep all day. Look at that, the rave yard. Interesting, we'll have to check that out when it opens up. Oh wow, okay. The Witch of the Woods queue line over here. And we have to go around the queue line just to get over here on the other side. But yeah, here's the Witch of the Woods. 
This was uh, new last year, right? Yeah, this was a new house that was put in last year. And I think it was pretty good because this is the only one that I had one of the scare actors jump scare me. So we'll just leave it at that. Now uh, here is another scare zone. This one is Beyond the Veil. Now last year, I think Beyond the Veil was over by the penguins. And uh, they moved it over here. Uh, there was actually something else over here. I think they it had was, the shortcut. It was in the shadows. Oh, in the shadows. That's but right. The people at Sesame Workshop didn't like the yeah. aesthetics of it, so they told them to ditch it. Uh, that is uh, straight from one of the employees here. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is by Sesame Street, and they had uh, into the shadows here where they had a whole bunch of shadow creatures and being right next to Sesame Street, that might be a little bit scary for the kids. So they changed it to Beyond the Veil, which is mainly like fairies and fays and yeah. stuff like that, which are nice around the kids, unless you upset them. Don't ever upset a fairy. And just beyond, beyond the veil is Raven's Mill. Ooh, looks like they got this a little bit more decorated. So, this is another scare zone. Watch out for the falling pumpkins. And let's see what else we can find out about this new scare zone. Well, this all looks the same. Still got the people hanging up all over the place here. Ah, another one way up there. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it looks like they got a lot more stuff set up around here. A lot of scarecrows that have missing a lot of the hay. <laughs> or I don't know if there are supposed to be scarecrows but that is that is Raven's Mill <laughs> uh, this is something you have never seen before guys this is the transfer track and they are getting another train on the track so let's see where this stops. I'm gonna guess it's gonna stop at this first gate. Uh, it's almost there. You see it, watch it. And once it gets there, it'll lock in place. Boom. Now look at that. Now it's gonna lock in place. Maybe. Oh, and they're opening up the garage door. This is this is uh, one of the things because this is at B&M. One operator can do this. I found that out from Ryan, the ride mechanic. He actually said that because this is all set up just perfectly, they got two chains to move this so it moves nice and smooth and here it comes rolling onto the track Look at that. And then he just says, okay, transfer back. That's something I bet you guys haven't seen before, and especially from this angle. Yeah, see the motor down there? The motor is spinning 
both ends should be moved nice and smooth. And there, I just saw the piston move, so that is loud lock. And train two is on the track. Now here is one of the shows. The Cirque Extreme at 7, 8.15, and 9.30. Now uh, this is, this is going to be one of those interesting nights. Oh, looks like they're uncovering the werewolves over here. We're coming up to another scare zone. A shortcut. And look at these fine gentlemen getting the decorations ready. Let's see. Oh, nope, still no sign on the sky ride. And we're coming into Jungala. The shortcut. So that shortcut is very short. I don't know how much of a short cut it is because it doesn't seem to like cut out anything. In Jungala, uh, well, last year this was an actual scare zone, but there is nothing set up over here. Well, away we go. So for our first haunted house, we are going to go and do the residence home for the holidays and as you can tell all the Christmas music you're playing in the background supposedly project Halcyon is going somewhere around there also but we will have to check and see what what that looks like I think he's been waiting in that car since last Christmas. Thank you.
drop their laundry. Come into Sin City Zombies. And the penguins are hiding because they don't want to get scared. Ah! Oh. Sure, hop on. Did you, did, did you wreck? He got ejected from there. Well, these poor souls didn't get too ejected. Well, you're looking pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you got the photo? You're just here, right? Yeah. Hurry up. How you doing? Blake. <laughs> you shake your hands. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> just met up with another. Oh, got to get out of the way for the film. <laughs> Ah. Oh boy. Oh no, another car wreck. I don't know if you can see me, but our next scare zone, I mean, our next scare is uh, going to be Stranglewood Estates. Oh. But, that was, that, that yeah, was that's your, that's your, that was your, that 
was your um, no that was my quick oh, oh, that yeah. that was the thing for oh, yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right here we go
And that was Stranglewood Estates. I'm just about ready to enter in the D.H. Baggins Circus of Fear and get a nice good view of Iron Wazi over here in the queue line. Why is it a circus? I wonder. Cause you wonder why you've never been here before. <laughs> Welcome to the circus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, look at this clown. What's going on? Enjoy. Enjoy. Yes, yes, yes. Have a good night. You do. Man, they got Tampa's finest here, playing as clowns. <laughs> All right. Oh, just like a circus tent. Ah. I guess this is where they all sleep. Why aren't you asleep? Uh, because I'm being scared by you. <laughs> Don't leave my butt. Oh. And that was D.H. Bagham's Circus of Fear. Did it scare you? This is a night ride on Iron Gwazi.
okay. You got it. It's nothing. You got it. Right. Hands up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. And I think I think she's been running faster. Yes. Uh, so here is karaoke. So if you want to sing, have fun. We now have Witch of the Woods. A uh, very exciting scare zone. Let's see what happens. Now we're entering the woods. Look out for any kind of wild creatures in the woods. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Something's hiding around here, I know it. Something's gotta be hiding here. Oh, the house. The witch's house. Uh oh. Yeah, see? The wicked witch. The witch. The way the witch. Okay, we will try. Where is she? Tear you to shreds! Okay. <laughs>
And that was Witch of the Woods, which you can't see me because I can't see myself. Okay. <laughs> Now this is something new. This is a uh, rave yard where you can rave all night with what looks like zombies. Entering our next scare zone, which is right by Sesame Street. It's called Beyond the Veil. We're gonna see all kinds of mystical creatures. And yeah, they closed off and roped off Sesame Street. So no Air Grover, no Air Grover night ride. We are now entering Raven's Mill, another scare zone. Oh, and I hear the chainsaws already. Some more parts for your shed. Okie dokie. So 
another one of the scare zones. The shortcut. Very scary music. For our last house, we are doing the Forgotten.
boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's not over until it's over. It's not over until it's over. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And that was the forgotten folks. Uh, so one of the things that we missed last year, and we don't want to miss it this year, we're going into the junkyard. junkyard folks and uh, being that that is uh, all the houses plus the junkyard and pretty much all the scare zones that will be it for me tonight hopefully you enjoyed it uh, I know I did I got a few scares in boy did I get scared a couple of times the jump scares are phenomenal so don't forget to like and subscribe.